It's April Fool's Day, uh, 1st of April, and in this video, I'm going to reveal what God had showed me about who my lover is supposed to be, uh, particularly the men who have the human God curse on, who are part of the world, uh, to stir it up and find out which one of them is going to allow God to cure, help and heal so that I could influence politics, the government and destroy the witch. But it was highly unlikely that the human God curse, man, would be born again and be like in the spirit world as Adam and I would be in the spirit world as Eve, new creatures in Christ. So the other option is to overcome the beast of the system and have him, have him um, follow me and I would be his leader and we would have nothing to do with the government or politics he would lose his position of power and have to find a, a brand new uh, way of life. So that is the overcoming of the beast. My hair is in my eye, I have to move it because I don't have special hairdos. And uh, uh, this is these videos that I do are, in fact unfiltered and uh, totally uh, out of the blue. So focusing particularly on God's holy name, El Shaddai. God does not force anyone to love God or to follow God. God does not force. God freely gives and God or freely takes away. Here we go again. My hair's fallen in my face. Let's move that out of the way. <laughs> my hair's like having snakes on my head. Like having, uh, rather than having hair, I have like snakes on my head. I'm in an awkward position. <laughs> Let's find a, a better position. <sighs> so I precisely knew who these men are. Um, and for in order for the human god and goddess to be cured from their curses, they have to fully acknowledge their sin, and that would mean um, a, the severity of their punishment. Um, that would mean that him approaching the the woman of God as being the queen would mean that he would be punished as being a pimp or being as the king in order to do group sex. And uh, I, I was disgusted by the thought and I said, no, I'm not interested in group sex. And then God revealed to me that um, the case of um, a woman having two husbands would be the case of uh, me, for example, um, uh, sharing sharing a God's friend, who is Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the curse on Jacob and how he had been released from that curse and he was no longer cursed and God blessed his family that he had, he had a uh, polygamous relationship that God had uh, granted as a result of him being tricked and uh, trapped. So in my instance, I have been tricked and tra trapped. I have locked my account. The government had unlocked it or had made something to perverse my steps and my path on social media. During the time I was trying to recover from my surgery, on my ovary and looking at my body to recover. And the enemy came along and looked for ways, searched for ways to get in the way of that recovery 
including being an obscurance of justice, a pervert of justice. And so I had many bad spies getting in the way on my social media platform and my testimony with God, uh, which included him, who, him, um, so there are two groups of there are two groups of trios. God came to me as a tripod. Uh, so I would have actually three husbands, not two, uh, because of what they've done. But uh, they're still part of the six 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 system, which is a beast system. And I have argued with God the same as Father Abraham had argued with God and Isaac and Jacob had also argued with God. To, uh, and I'm sure that many God's God's holy people have argued with God, including Moses. Um, there's always a point in um, religious people's lives where they have to say, God, this is too far-fetched. This is this is too much for me. I know you deal with extreme extreme individuals. I know that you can cure mental sickness. I know that you are a god of miracles. But why me? Why do I have to be put into that position? And God answered me because you were invaded, because you are treated as a prostitute, and because you have had people uh, who are supposed to be your husband. Rob and rape you. Both of the men are not a people. There are no people, one of which is dead, so making me someone worse than a widow, an unloved woman. So God did answer the questions I had. Why me? Why do I have to put, be put in the worst case scenario? And God did explain to me that in order to cure the God and Goddess, then I could actually... Uh, uh, rise up my head out of the waters as the queen and as God's royal ambassador on earth and uh, have the confidence that God actually has for me to uh, portray out into the public all my heart's desires uh, that the god, the gods, the cursed gods would naturally exhibit without any reservation, without any shame. So what they're doing as a typical narcissist, sociopath and psychopath is not what they're supposed to be doing. It is what the saints are supposed to be doing. So the very thing and the very freedom that they get up to. So where would I go to receive my information, how the perverse people have received their so-called fake blessing, I would go to the witches and the wizards to find out what magic they practice and to turn it into a curse because it is magic, it's not miracle. And I would say, well, God, how did they get this magic? And the answer is because they are the children of the, the devil, the fallen angels, and therefore the fallen angels have uh, provided him that information, that lifestyle, and that mindset. That's how they made their magic. Um, but the miracle of that is that it belongs to the saints. It belongs to the holy angels where they have originally stolen and corrupted that so-called magic, supposed to be a miracle. So they've made magic. And this is where, and this is the source of information I would gather from the human gods and goddess. Whatever they're doing is not actually supposed to be for them. It's supposed to be for the saints. And surprise, surprise, they are the saints' killers because of their pride and their ego, whatever they practice and preach, it's not supposed to be for them. It's not supposed to be their job. It's not supposed to be their position of power because they are abusers. And so they are the aggressive and the arrogant or and or the arrogant and the aggressive. But which one's worse? And that's the question I've asked. Which one is the evil invader? versus the the uh so it's the evil in invader versus the evil invader which one out of them is going to be the humble sinner so that's the dilemma i have the cycle of narcissists sociopaths and psychopaths and schizophrenic 
their mental sickness. So looking at the two types of sinners, the two type of evil wrongdoers, wicked uh, lot uh, of governments, politicians and all this. So two types, one that is aggressive, arrogant cycle versus the other cycle, which is the arrogant, the aggressive. And that's that's the question I had. So according to the Holy Bible, looking at Genesis chapter 15, verse 5, where Abraham was told to take the journey to Egypt to return And God said through this dynamic of a revelation, told Abraham that the seed would be numerous as the stars. So this is way, 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 way before uh, any fulfillment of God's prophecy or intervention, before even God got involved in uh, Abraham's personal life by Abraham's free will. God knew the future and God's and and the destiny for Abraham. And so that's how I had been praying and had a relate personal relationship of God, which is now public, to say I know exactly who those men are, who are the trio. And I called myself Tria as a sense of humor, uh, who have invaded me and disrespected me, and see if they would be humbled and actually do God's will. And it's highly unlikely of one or two of which I supposed to, which uh, which disgusted me so much, where our destiny had got together on the same path going through hell, but one of which wanted to stay in hell and I didn't. So um, this is the case of uh, polygamous, polygamous relationships and uh, before it even happened. Um, The pimp, however, has a condemnation on him uh, that is he is a child killer. He would kill his own children for doing doing a disobedience against God and the saints. And it's so disgusting. I said, no way, I I want nothing to do with this individual. Um, And... uh, uh, however, he kept coming back into my spirit uh, he, like a pest um, and kept pestering me and because he wouldn't let go of me and my spirit on the social media and also invading me and my personal things, my documents, my medical records, my photographs, my videos, and the list is endless. Um, so it's breaking the law. It's breaking the... Um, the government uh, protocol call and breaking their policies, uh, which goes against the law. So they make the law and they break the law to suit themselves, which is a typical mentally sick, retard, useless individual that doesn't practice what they preach and that changes their laws after they murder or kill someone or destroy somebody's life or live, livelihoods or life and family, then they feel guilty or they don't feel guilty and then they change things to suit their fake innocence or to suit their guilt. In fact, mentally sick retards can actually thrive and prosper in their guilt versus other mentally sick individuals that thrive and prosper in their immunity to say that they are they are a false innocent, in other words, covered up their crimes. So, which one out of the two would God humble and use for God's service in the most powerful way? Because I have had the government intervene or intercede as an unwanted mediator, an unwanted uh, visitor, an unwelcomed visitor. Um, and and um, and uh, an, a devil's advocate in my life forced in me. So God's revenge is for me to be part of the government and put things right where they have been wrong um, so that I could be as the queen in the spirit that God wants me to be. The other option is for me to feel crucified all over again with uh, that man who has nothing to do with the government 
and we will both witness the coming of the World War Three um, at, at the home where I am now. And that's how I close this video uh, to know to say that there are those that are working uh, in Jesus uh, who have been cured and nothing to do with the human God and goddess curse, but they have to overcome the beast in order to be with the bride of Christ, uh, according to the book of Revelation. I close this video now as my Maria Marie name is Nikolic, Rachel, um, and the middle name, it's a very long name, I'm looking to change it as a result of um, being as an orphan or outcast and uh, not knowing who my relatives were or their disinterest in me, so I'm changing my name. Um, whether my parents like it or not, uh, who were totally estranged, so I'm looking to change my name to a shorter name in the future. Um, but definitely keeping Zoe, uh, Mizey Zoe, Zoe Mizey as a middle, middle name.